All right, guys and gals, this is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the Daily Roundup webinar. I'm going to um, talk about a few things. I was just I was just chatting with, um, you know, one of the guys in my office. We were just talking about the VIX and, you know, it's it, there's a lot of things that are right now that are suggesting. And I'm going to I'm just going to I'm going to do a look at kind of a I know it's the Daily Roundup. So I guess this is probably appropriate for what I wanted to uh, discuss. But uh, let's first of all, let's talk about the VIX. VIX is breaking out, and I once I once heard, and I'll say this again: nothing good happens while the vol while volatility is up to above twenty. So you know, it's something just to think about. We've got you know volatility that's kind of you know breaking out to the upside, right? You've got gold that is holding above. Where is my gold? Uh, where's my gold in the bank? Oh, that gold, uh, it, you see gold holding above its trend line. So obviously what I'm looking for is, you know, a break below the lows of the day would be, you know, bearish for, for gold. Um, uh, that would, you know, signal something, uh, you got yields breaking out. Look at the tenure. We broke about the 50% retracement. Um, so you got yields rallying, right? Um, you got the euro that's bounced back. Yeah, you know, the euro has bounced back, but you know I think euro is going to be more influenced by gold, right? Um, uh, oh, uh, you got the Aussie yen. Check this out. So you got the Aussie yen that just you know we had this kind of false breakdown, 161 percent extension, 161 um, uh, percent extension of this last move lower. And a big, big trend line coming into play. And, and I might actually have that drawn a little off. You got that, you know, trend line really coming into play here, right? You know, so everything that I'm looking at is suggesting that stocks might roll over here. But, you know, here we are. You got equities. I mean, they're coming, you know, S&P's come down a little bit, but, you know, we're, it's not like we're imploding. But you have, you know, equities that are probably testing, I would say this is intraday, this is some, you know, pretty key support here, right? You got uh, NASDAQ, a little underperforming, but worth noting, right? Dow. A little false breakout going on here, you know. So, so uh, you know, I've got things that are on the radar that says, you know, we got to be really careful here with equities, and we haven't seen currencies really respond. Other than you know, you got every yen pair going straight up, but d does that really matter to anything? Because you know, the yen pairs have broken their, um, their they they've broken their relationship with the market. So you know. Uh, does it really matter that we have, you know, uh, euro yen at resistance, dollar yen at resistance? Well, it's actually where, yeah, we're trying to push through that channel. Pound yen's breaking higher. Aussie yen's at that resistance here. New Zealand yen, um, probably just enough to squeeze out everybody, but, you know, I would say it's resistance. So I'm. I'm a little worried that we might see a rollover in equities. And I want to say worried because it's fine because I'm positioned for it right at this very second. But it, it you know, being long, you know, dollar Canadian and dollar Mexican peso. By the way, the dollar Canadian hit new lows and then bounced. Uh, dollar Mexican peso is holding, you know, holding its gains. Alongside, um, you know, some of these other uh, commodity or um, emerging market currencies. I mean, look at look at the uh, look at you know, the the czar. The Turkish lira is kind of doing its own thing right now. But let's go to some other ones. I mean, uh, Brazilian real. It's holding up. I mean, you look at all this stuff, and it, I mean, it, it to me, it says that stocks want to roll over, but they just haven't yet, and I think that that is the risk at the moment okay but we'll see we'll see how this uh this this all shakes out um 
Yeah, it's been it's been a very volatile day. Uh, uh, I mean, look at the euro. What a day with the euro dollar. I mean, just massive sell off, big bounce back. Matter of fact, I didn't even take a look at that. Looks like a fifty percent retracement, fifty percent retrace back. The only the only way the the euro is going to break down from here is gold breaking down. But you know, like I said, you look at gold, and gold's I think at risk. Yeah, where is my gold? <laughs> Again, I'm going to ask that question. Where is my gold? Um, this uh, which I don't have. I should have. Let me let me move this down just a hair. We have to have an alert on that trend line because I'll tell you, if it if it breaks that trend line, gold is you can stick a fork in it. It's probably going to have at least a hundred point drop, if not more, and that's what really would spur my, you know, bullishness for the dollar. So um, anyway, uh, uh, yeah. Amira says uh, silver. Yeah, you know, let's silver had maybe a false breakout, right? So. I mean, so how do you draw silver? Maybe you draw it like this, right? You know, to make it more symmetrical. I don't know. Uh, silver's kind of been off my radar. Gold's the one that really matters to me at the moment. Right or wrong, it is just kind of is what it is. Um, but anyway, uh, that's how I feel about that. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Watch stocks here. They are coming off. Um, I wish I could give you a better roundup other than I just pointed out a lot of things that I'm looking at and hopefully we see, start to see some follow through. So um, guys, if you're listening to this real time, thank you all for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, we all do at Forex Analytics. Uh, I will, um, I'm going to wrap up with, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on the Facebook webinar. So thanks everybody for joining me. Have a great one. And I'm glad that you're all here. Hopefully you guys did well today. It's a good day today. Hopefully. All right.